Oh, hot toddy is back. Hot toddy is back. <laughs> no, I'm really excited about this one. It's Sarah, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really, really well wherever you are today in Newcastle. I'm really excited because it's launch day. That's right. So Snow Fairy is here, Christmas is here at Lush, and I'm just super excited to take you through absolutely everything. I have bought most things. I've left a few things in the shop, so I'm gonna put some pictures up of the things that I haven't bought, but I'm still gonna take you through everything. This is gonna be a long video. Like all of my Lush hauls, they're a long video. So take your time, get a drink, get a snack, come back to it. Um, I'm gonna do it in three parts. I'm gonna do it in the, the core range. Then I'm gonna have um, bath gifts and shower gifts. And the, the bath gifts normally include like the knot wraps and things like that. Otherwise, it would be like a two hour video and you'd have like the numbest bum ever. So if this sounds like something that you're really interested in, then uh, stay tuned, because I'm gonna take you through everything. <laughs> Okie dokie, so let's jump straight into it. No particular order except, except things like all through bath, all through shower, that kind of thing. Um, I'm not gonna lump Snow Fairy together, you're gonna get her in dribs and drabs. But the first thing I wanna show you, and it's one of my favorite things this year, is the cutest bath bomb ever. This is Snow Dragon. And oh my God, does it smell amazing. There it is there. So you've got this lovely uh, crystal uh, iridescent salt on its back and sometimes on its leg. And it's just a really sweet little bath bomb. I'm gonna see if you can see his face there. There we go. So this bath bomb smells very fresh, very clean. It is a new smell. It reminds me of like the Ickle Baby Bot colour. So when it's in the water, it goes that lovely blue uh, and it's absolutely fantastic for uh, children who or people who who like a smaller bath, still want some colour. They've already had things like um, Butter Ball, Ickle Baby Bot. They want something a little bit different. This is absolutely amazing and it's £3.50. For other small bath bombs, of course, we have Sleepy Bear bath bomb, which I'm gonna put here, which smells like Sleepy. And you've got lovely loads of oat milk in there. It's really creamy and powdery, and it has that lovely lavender and tonka smell that is so, so popular. And loads of little purple lavender buds on the top. But we also have, as well, Butter Bear. But this year, he's had a little upgrade. He's got a little fancy hat. Pink still, with those big chunks of cocoa butter. Smells like delicious vanilla. Absolutely love them. So Sleepy Bear is £3.50 and Butter Bear is £3. I'm gonna be honest, normally I put the ingredients up, um, but I can't, I didn't get any um, ingredient stickers on my bags and I can't find all the ingredients um, to hand um, with my training notes, so I'm really, really sorry um, about that. It'll just be a case that you might have to go on the website and just me using um, what knowledge I do have on that. So I'll try my best. If I can find them, I will put them in the list. I do apologize. I always like to put the ingredients on because I know you guys are super, super into that and also, so it's great for things like allergies. Next up is the Snow Fairy Lights. So this one is a chunky pink uh, star-shaped bath bomb with a lovely baby blue stopper on top and it normally has some iridescent sparkles on. And inside are some multicolored sprinkles. It's normally green, blue, yellow, orange, and pink. And it smells like Snow Fairy. Obviously, for those who don't know, Snow Fairy smells like candy floss. It is the truly the sweetest, delicious, most yummiest smell ever and it comes out once a year at Christmas at Lush and it's so popular that every year the line gets extended with more and more things to try out and this one's really popular because it's like a three-in-one bath you could have the sprinkles in one bath maybe mix in with some bubble bars you could have the stopper in another one or give it to a, um, one of your children or a uh, brother or sister if you really like them and then you've got the big star or you could be greedy like me and throw the whole thing in the bath I like to sprinkle the sprinkles in first and then put the star in and then the lid so then you can create some really colorful bath art with it. So that one this year is eight pounds. So three in one for eight pounds. We've got a brand new bath bomb this year and I love the look of this one. And it's in one of my favorite smells. It's so cool, you've got this beautiful 
gold moon on it. It's bright orange and it smells like Avo Bath. It is so fresh, so uplifting, so fruity and kind of like not what you'd think Avo Bath smell would be for like the colour wise but it smells absolutely incredible. This one is, I'm going to zoom this in so I can read it, Moon Bath Bath Bomb. I mean the name is ooh, it's pretty fitting isn't it? You've got this beautiful gold iridescent sparkle on the top and it just smells so good. So if you don't know what um, Avo Bath smells like, it's lemongrass. So really fresh, really uplifting. I think this would be a really nice bath bomb um, before maybe the Christmas party or before a night out because it's so invigorating and so uplifting. Or if you've got a bit of a cold, if you've got a bit of a bing bunged up nose, that lemongrass is really going to get in there and clean up those noses. So this one is £5.50 and it's just super, super pretty. I love things with moons and stars on them. Next up, we've got a big whopper, a big whopper. And this is the Golden Puddin Bath Bomb. Look at this. And listen. Oh, I love the smell of this one. And this one is obviously Golden Wonder scented. I think I've got gold all over my face now. Um, so you've got this giant golden pudding bath bomb dripping in white bath bomb icing essentially with a little holly on top, really festive. And inside you've got beautiful pearl salt to soothe aching muscles. So again, if you're going Christmas shopping, if you're wanting a nice treat for after, this is really going to kind of kind of get you revived, ready for a nice evening or a nice um, day out. It's Or after a day out, should I even say. It's just a beautiful bath bomb and it's bloody massive. Look at the size of it. It's huge. I mean, if I put it next to this one, you can see the difference. It's got a good heft to it. There you go. I love it. It's such a beautiful bath bomb. It's a slow fizz. If you like slow fizzing bath bombs, this is absolutely the one for you. It smells really good and the bath art is stunning. The shimmering golden swirls through the water are absolutely stunning. And this one is eight pounds. Mm -mm -mm. Now, I love this one. Look at his little face. This one is Magical Santa. And I don't know how well you can see his little face. There he is. And it is a pastel rainbow bath bomb. Again, I think this one is a new, whoops. This one is definitely a new smell. It almost reminds me of like clean laundry. That's the only way I can kind of think of the smell. It's really fresh and clean. It's not like fresh in a citrusy way. It's absolutely lovely. This one is a very slow fizzer. Creates beautiful um, sunset swirls in the water. And this is perfect for your Christmas Eve box because obviously it's Santa. Who doesn't want Santa in their bath before the big man arrives? This one is five pounds. There is a super, super cute one. I'm just getting it ready right now. And this is, let me pick it up. Snowman finger puppet. Look how cute it is. I really hope that they bring more of these types of bath bombs out. I'm just, without being a bit rude, here he is underneath. And that's in there. So sweet. Smells like candy canes, really, really lovely. You've got the really cute traditional sort of snowman style. This is £2.50, perfect little stocking filler and obviously a little bit of fun for in the bath. I love this. I would I would have loved like a little, um, let me have a think, like a witch one for Halloween would have been really cute. I really hope that they do more of this style but there he is and he smells oh, delicious. Hands down though, Hands down, my favourite bath bomb this year. There's a lot of like, um, I'm gonna spoiler alert, there's a lot of like blues and oranges this year. And this is my favourite bath bomb, so favourite that I've got two. And this is your Snow Drift bath bomb. So it's got this absolutely stunning um, snowflake design on the top. And it literally looks like you're in a frozen tundra in the bath. Or if it's for children, you could even see like Elsa's cast her frozen spell in the bath. It is absolutely stunning. And the reason why I love it so much is that it's Outback Make Scented. So if you like Snowball Bath Bomb from last year, I've got one left over, which I found today, which I'm really excited about. Um, you're gonna really enjoy this. Or of course, if you like Outback Mate Soap. 
I love the smell of this. I really miss, because you got in the kitchen subscription box uh, last year or the year before, an Outback made bubble bar. It was unreal, and I just want more things in this smell because it's so, so amazing. So this is very fresh. So it's peppermint, lemongrass, and eucalyptus. Super invigorating, super refreshing, just super delicious. It's, it's just moorish. And like I say, that bath art is stunning. The white iridescent shimmers pluming through the water. It really does look like uh, you're in a snowstorm, a frozen snowstorm in your bath. It's absolutely stunning. And like I say, I loved it so much. I got two. And this one is $5.50. Mm. I might have you in the bath tomorrow. Then we've got a, another blue one, and it is a fan favourite. It is Shoot for the Stars Bath Bomb. So this one is Honey I Wash the Kids Scented. So for those who don't know what Honey I Wash the Kids Scent is, it is a delicious, sweet caramel smell. Honey caramel. But it's vegan, so if you are vegan, you can still enjoy it. Um, and you have three gold star um, bath melts in there, and they're made from cocoa butter with loads of um, biodegradable gold luster all over them. And it turns the bath into this absolutely gorgeous twinkling starry night sky. I don't know why I didn't get one, because I don't like them. Um, but that one is £5.50. It's super moisturising, so if you do get dry skin at Christmas time, and maybe body lotions aren't your main thing, you're getting that cheeky bit of moisture into your skin there. Then another cool kind of snow themed one, we have crystal snow. And this, if you like, if anybody remembers geode, gives me a little bit of geode vibes. So you've got blue salt on the top and uh, this smells like you want to eat it. It smells like chocolate, chocolate? Chocolate chip mint ice cream. So if you've had Hagen Bath Bath Bomb or Thunder Snow Bath Bomb from, Thunder Snow was from a few Christmases ago, you're going to really enjoy this because it's the same smell. Really yummy, really kind of Moorish again, and it's just <sighs> smells divine. I'm going to be honest, I've not seen the bath art for this one, so I kind of can't remember what this is like, but again, very skin softening, and you've got that kind of chocolatey mint smell, which is absolutely delicious. It smells so, so good. And this one is £4.50. Yum, 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 yum. A returning favourite. You gotta have her, you gotta love her. And this is the Snow Fairy Bath Bomb. White and blue on one side, pink and white on the other. Loads of silver sparkles. And it turns a bath a shimmering baby pink. This one is £5.50. So if the ingredients for, for Snow Fairy pretty much are your synthetic musk and your lime persian oil and then for your bath bombs you've got things like bicarb, citric acid and then your colours. Um, the synthetic musk, for those who don't know, I know obviously people go, synthetic? But it's Lush. Lush use all natural products. Lush use um, synthetic ingredients a lot of the time as preservatives but also as replacement to animal products. If you didn't know, musk comes from a deer's butt to obviously attract the ladies. So they use a synthetic musk to replace that so that it's cruelty free. No deer should be put in any pain and suffering for something that we enjoy the smell of. That's why if you see synthetic musk, that is why. And then we've got another new one. Oh, this one is so pretty. This is partridge in a pear tree. Can you see that? A lovely orange bath bomb with a little partridge surrounded in leaves, dusted with gold shimmer. And this is very much like Once Upon a Time, but also a little bit like if Once Upon a Time um, or um, So White, if, if you remember So White, and Golden Pear had a baby. I get a lot from this So White, but I know it has a little bit of mixture of the two and the smells. Is it So White scented? It smells a lot like So White, but this has in it, it's got some, I've got the ingredients, I've got the little bits of ingredients here. It has, it's a prickly pear and apple scented bath bomb. I really get a lot of so white in this, but I, I do get a little bit of pear in there as well, as if they like stuck a little bit of golden pear in there. And this is quite a moisturizing bath bomb, and obviously lots of orange, so it's going to turn the bath a real beautiful shade of orange in there, absolutely. Mm, stunning and fresh and I know a lot of people love so white slash once upon a time so you're going to be able to get that in that bath bomb it's pretty close if not the same thing and that one sorry is six pounds it's very ornate and very very pretty then we have this one this is sweet pudding so again I don't know why I've got scuffs all over my bath bomb so this is again if for people who 
who love sweet smells, maybe have, have had their snow fairy fix, they want something different. This is new this year. This one smells like you shall go to the ball bath bomb or the lobster bath bomb from Valentine's Day. Really sweet, kind of almost like um, candy sticks sort of a scent very yummy and obviously it's bright pink so for people who have maybe had um the fill of snow fairy creamy candy the comfort and they want a different type of pink bath bomb you've got that there but it's still in that festive feel with a little holly leaf on there Ugh, it smells so good i love you shall go to the ball it's such a nice smell and i i really enjoyed the design of you shall go to the ball as well like the little carriage would love to have seen that come back in we've got an unusual bath bomb here it is this is gift horse because you ain't gonna ever look at one in the mouth is that the phrase don't look at gift horse in the mouth i'm not very good at uh, slogans and this is a, a really fun one and it smells so good it is olive branch scented it smells absolutely amazing more things should be olive branch slash pansy scented in my opinion so for those who don't know what olive branch is olive branch is a beautiful light citrus floral so this might be quite nice if maybe someone has a slightly more sensitive skin who has maybe already tried um butterball it could maybe bought um toby's magic cow and they want to try something a little bit bigger but it's not over the top too big it smells absolutely amazing because it's olive branch nice and it obviously turns the bath a lovely orange color i told you there was a lot of orange this year a lot of orange and the gift horse was four pounds but what i'm really excited about my favorite bubble bar is back and it's hot well it's cinnamon roll which smells like hot toddy oh it is spicy it is winter warming just absolutely delicious almost like spicy cola cubes. It is so, so yummy. You've got this beautiful burgundy and you've got the gold inside. So it turns the bath, this beautiful shimmering wine color. I would get three baths out of this, snap a bit off, crumble into your bath, turn a hot tap on, and you're gonna get loads of fluffy white bubbles and that shimmering burgundy water. It smells so good. If you like a spicy bath, you're gonna really love this. You really, really are. And that one is six pounds 50. A bath bomb I've not mentioned is one called Bonfire. So this is in the uh, kind of the Japanese tea bag style. And this is a beautiful, spicy, winter warmer bath bomb. Perfect maybe if you're getting ready for fireworks night on November the 5th. And this one smells like cinders or the Vesuvio bubble bar. So like a marzipan. It is absolutely delicious. It's spicy and warming, but you've got that kind of kind of marzipan running through. Inside here, you've got big uh, cloves in here, cinnamon. So it's all perfectly wrapped within the bag. And uh, my friend Bella said that this was one of the best baths that she's had in months. And she was absolutely gutted that she had to wait until Christmas launch to get another one. So essentially what you do is you tie this around your tap through the hoop and you let the water run right through it. And it turns the bath again, another orange one, but it makes sense because it is bonfire flame. And it turns the bath the best shade of orange and you've got all these beautiful spices in here steeping in your bath you could then pour those spices into your compost bin and they will obviously compost and you could reuse the muslin cloth or you could just put the whole thing in your compost bin and it will biodegrade it smells absolutely wonderful i think this one don't i can't quite remember i think this one is seven pounds but it smells absolutely wonderful and if you are a fan of spicy smells winter warmers um or should i even just say cinders you're gonna really 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 love the bonfire bath bomb i can't wait to use that one next we have candy cane so slightly ever so slightly different than from uh, last year because it has lush embossed on it and this is a reusable bubble bar so instead of the one like the cinnamon roll where you would snap a bit off you're gonna hold it under the tap to get your bubbles when you're happy with how many bubbles you get just leave it on the bag to dry out overnight and you can use it again 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 sometimes after you use it a little bit too much you can start to actually crumble it up because it goes a little bit soft i normally get about three baths out of this if you've got children if you want to use it for their christmas 
Christmas Eve box. You might even get four baths out of that if they're having a smaller bath. This one is five pounds and it smells like a candy cane this year. So I know in previous years when it's come out, it smelled like lemony. This actually smells like a candy cane that you would get in the shop. And I know um, in previous years, I've heard of people who actually get a few candy canes and hang them up on their tree to make their living room smell really lovely and festive. And then obviously afterwards you can reuse it. I used to do that with the golden pear soap. Uh, buy a few and put them in my um, on my table as a decoration. It would make my uh, living room smell uh, fantastic. Then we have the Golden Angel Bubble Bar. Oh my God, how cute. And this one smells like honey, I wash the kids. So sweet. So again, for people who maybe have had their fill of Snow Fairy, they want something a little bit different. It just, it's really, really cute. I think a lot of, um, a lot of little girls are gonna really enjoy this one. And it just smells absolutely amazing. And it's got that beautiful sparkle on it again. So if you like um, sunny side sparkle, you're gonna enjoy this. This one is six pounds. Um, I would get two baths out of this, if I'm being honest. Um, snap it right in half. All right, I'm gonna put this down here, but it smells absolutely wonderful. I'm really excited about this one. It's a Snow Fairy wand, but you can blow bubbles through it. So you've got this, I don't know how well you can see it because it looks white on camera, but it's got like, oh, hang on. Can you see that iridescent sparkle on it? So it's got this iridescent luster all over it. Ding, Christmas is wished for. I know that a lot of people ask for the Snow Fairy wand every year, like, where's it gone? I used to love the Magic of Christmas wand, if anybody remembers that as well. But this year, obviously it's back, they've brought it out, but now, you can blow bubbles through it. It adds a little bit of fun to the Christmas bath. This one is 750. Hold it under hot running water, just like the candy cane, and then swish it around the bath and then blow bubbles through it. It's really good. She get about, I would say, if you're not using it to blow bubbles through, she probably get about four or five baths out of it. If you're using it to blow bubbles, if you're using it to blow bubbles through, you might get less use out of it because obviously you're constantly dunking it in and then blowing bubbles through it. So it just depends on how you use it. But again, leave it on the bag to dry out overnight. Then we have the the party popper bubble bar. Look at that. I love it. Can you see the stars? Oh, it's it smells so good. So this is, this. do you remember Party Popper? This came out in 2020 as part of the Bubble Bar Anniversary Collection. And this is, as far as I'm aware, unless, unless I'm going completely nose blind, is punch scented. So punch is like a cocktail for your bath. It's orange and yellow, loads of party sauce, and there's loads of popping candy in here. So it's a very noisy bath that you're gonna have. Again, really good before maybe the Christmas party, or if your kids have got a school disco, it's just a fun one for the night before. Um, you can either have that as one big bath or two smaller baths. And this one is five pounds. Smells so good. And then, out of the last but not least, out of the bath range, we have the Snow Fairy Bubble Bars. So we have the regular size, and then I've got here, well, it's gonna look the same, is the giant Snow Fairy Bubble Bar. So the normal Snow Fairy Bubble Bar is 650, and then the large one is 20 pounds. So the large one weighs about a kilo. You normally get about mm, 15 to 20 baths out of the large one. So it does work out better value to get the larger bubble bar over this other one if you like Snow Fairy Bubble Bar, but it smells amazing. You've got the, obviously the swirls, and again, the beautiful, I'm just gonna put it on the back of my hand, how well you can see it, not that well. Damn, it looks so good on, on the camera. The iridescent sparkle in there. And at, with this size, I would get about three good sized baths out of that. And it smells so good. So that is all of the bath for this year. What are you gonna get? I'm really obviously very excited for the snow drift because it's out of that May scented, but I'm really actually quite tempted to try the partridge in a pear tree because of the so white smell and it's so pretty with the little partridge on it. Um, I tell a fib, I tell a fib, there's two more bath products. It's because I don't see really, even though I use this in the bath, I don't see it as a bath product because you can use it in the shower as well. And this is Snow Fairy Fun. So this year, a lot of Snow Fairy is pink and purple. Um, when it comes to like the gift boxes as well. 
um, and you've got a little bit of yellow so I think you can be a bit more creative with it. It smells, I'm just going to open it up. I don't know why I'm smelling every snow fairy thing. I know what it smells like. It smells like beautiful snow fairy. But what you've got in here is actually, I'll show you. You've got some, I think they're wings. This is $9.50 for the, for the fun. And for those who don't know what fun is, fun is like Play-Doh for the bath. So you can mold it, shape it, and then you can uh, use it to wash your body with, your hair, make bubble bath with. I am butchering this. Here we go. So you've got, oh. Okay, oh, the little flowers. I thought they were wings. Oh my God, that's so cute. So you get three little flowers. Uh, maybe you can make your own flowers to go with your snow fairy. Or maybe, oh, you could get your snow fairy to sit on them. You can make like a whole, you can make a little friendship group of snow fairies. That's really sweet. And then you can see the colors more clearly. That is so strong. So the ingredients for this is um, cornstarch, talc, glycerin, Persian lime oil, titanium dioxide, and then you've got uh, synthetic musk. And then obviously you've got all the colors and your synthetic flora fluoridite, um, which is makes it all sparkly. Now you might be saying, but Sarah, this is wrapped in plastic. This is really bad for the environment. Shame on Lush. Nope. This is made from cellulose, um, which is a plant-derived product. <laughs> I put my teeth back in and this is actually suitable for home composting unlike a lot of companies that say oh your this plastic cup it's made from plant-based materials and it's compostable those kind of cups they're compostable in like a high heat factory these can go in your own compost bin in the house and it will break down just make sure that you take off the label and just wash off any of the snow fairy residue from the, 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 the product and behind here it says reach for joy and if you didn't know behind a sticker if it has um, a little compounder sticker on you get a little secret message and this was made by Jamie Jamie I'm gonna put you back over here and something that I think people are going to lose their mind over well 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 ready to lose your mind because I lost my mind when I seen this this is the lush snow fairy melt it is a wax melt and bath melt in one so you can uh, break one or two squares off and melt it in a hot bath or break one or two squares off add it to your wax burner ensure it's on a flat surface add your tea light and then do not move whilst it's lit used within 14 months of manufacturers do not leave your burner on for more than six hours um, and in here you've got fair trade organic cocoa butter you have got um, almond oil, Persian lime oil, uh, borage oil, uh, water, titanium dioxide, and synthetic musk. This smells incredible, and it's like a snack bar. It's really, I made sure that I picked up a one with like extra bits on. So what I was thinking was, because you know, being smart, was burn it first, then use what's left in the bath. So then it's no waste, it's, it's a zero waste product. So that is, oh my God, it's 6.50. It's so cheap. I, and I just know people are going to go wild. It's got this really cute little snowflake on it. It just smells so good. And it says, just the thing for fairies, pixies, and all magical creatures who need a sugary sweet pick-me-up. And then it says, this wrap is made from 100% recyclable material. So yes. Ah! <gasps> Don't lose this precious bit of wax. And it goes... I can't wait. I am a bit, uh, I mean, I, I don't know how many people here have been watching me for a while, but I did get a little bit obsessed with my wax burner. So I'm really excited. I did get some new tea lights because I'm really excited to try that. Next up is a new product. It is a shower bomb. It's called Jolly Holly. It is this beautiful green holly leaf with a little red berry in the middle. It's £3.50. It's a larger shower bomb. It's full. Oh my God, the smell is so good. It smells of lemongrass and pineapple. So it's really juicy, really invigorating. So if you don't have a bath, but really want to try something new and pampering for the shower, then Jolly Holly is going to be the one for you. It's literally like a lovely tropical party in the shower. Next up is um, a brand new invention. So if you've had the Fresh and Flower box, you'll have had some similar products uh, in different smells. But this is the Snow Fairy Delight. And there is also a Yognog one as well. And it smells, oh my God, it smells so good. So it's almost like a marshmallow for your for your shower and the yognog obviously smells like 
delicious caramel. I know a lot of people were like, oh my god, no Yognog shower gel is yet. Well, you can have Yognog body wash in the delight form. So you would literally, I'm gonna show you, rip a bit off like that. And it's almost like an artisanal moustache, uh, an artisanal marshmallow. And you literally um, just get it wet and wash your body with it. I'm gonna actually use a bit now. I'm gonna, I've just got to a bit of my hand and I'm gonna have a little try and, and I'll come back and I'll tell you if it was uh, to my status or not. Okay, I'm back and I just tried it. It smells really good and that bit that I just ripped off there, that little tiny bit would do your whole body. This bit here, this whole chunk, excuse me, this whole chunk weighed 94 grams. So I'm going to assume it's either sold per 100 grams. It says on my little train notes here, declared weight 40 grams, 750. It's quite a big chunk so you could obviously buy more if you wanted to but all I would say is just keep it somewhere cool and dry. Think like, you know, um, your marshmallows or your candy floss. You don't want to keep them somewhere warm and damp because it might go um, And I did have the passion fruit delight um, in my bathroom unused for quite a while and it kind of went hard. So just make sure that you just um, keep it in an airtight container to keep it fresher for longer. But just a bit like fun, just rip chunks off what you need. That's gonna last quite a long time actually. I was like, oh yeah, like I'll third it and then that will, um, that'll do me. That tiny bit, I could not stop washing it. It had a very light um, lather, doesn't feel drying on the hands. The base is aquafaba, so that's what makes it all fluffy. Um, it's vegan, obviously, because they don't use gelatin or anything like that, but it just feels great. I love the texture of that. And obviously then you've got the Yognog one, which smells like caramel. I'm gonna put a picture here. Um, it literally, it's, um, Yognog is a maple syrup, a clove, um, and it's just really yummy. The clove just adds a warmth without being over the, like it's not too overpowering. It just literally smells like someone's poured caramel onto your body. So if you like sticky dates or honey, I wash the kids, you're gonna really enjoy the Yognog if you've not tried it before. We have got, the one that everybody wants, Snow Fairy Shower Gel. So, this is my old one, so don't worry. I was like, I don't need to buy a new bottle yet, I've still got quite a lot left. So, absolutely delicious. I've got a big bottle and a little 100 gram bottle which I like to put in my gym bag. I also love using Snow Fairy to wash my makeup brushes with, so it makes my brushes smell nice when I put them on my face. But it's absolutely gorgeous. The ingredients for this is water, you've got glycerin, Persian lime oil, titanium dioxide and synthetic musk. Um, it just smells divine and obviously Snow Fairy comes in three sizes. So you've got the 100 gram bottle which is six pounds, 12 pounds for a medium, uh, 20 pounds for a large and then 33 for a kilo i being honest prefer this size but i will probably buy a kilo bottle and decant it into here i got a kilo bottle two years ago and it gets to a point where i find it quite hard to put to either hold when it's brand new or when it has like dregs in it so i just thought Do you know what it is? it's cheaper to buy a kilo bottle overall so i have this spare bottle so i'm going to buy a kilo and then decant it into there and that'll keep me going for the rest of the year a brand new shower gel which i'm super excited about this is elf shake look at that color look 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 at that color bright green same kind of consistency as snow fairy and it's it's a kind of it's thick but runny i'm going to try and get a little you can see the stream there. I don't know why I'm doing that. It's going to be a nightmare getting the lid back on. And it literally smells like gobstoppers. It smells like when you're a child, and if you're in the UK, you'll know what I mean. You go to the corner shop and you get a 10 pence mix up. It's like gobstoppers. It's like candy lipsticks. It's all that kind of hard sweets that you'd have as a child in your 10 pence mix-up it's delicious they say in the training notes it's like super sour gumballs i don't get it i get i don't i've been honest i don't get too much of a a tang from it it smells absolutely amazing and if you like again the sweet smells it's definitely one to enjoy um, as an alternative to snow fairy also if you have a partner that steals your snow fairy but won't buy it because it's pink elf shake
That's all I'm going to say. It says, the best elf on the shelf, handmade in our workshop with fresh grapes, kiwis, apples, and the scent of super sour gumballs. So you've got fresh mint infusion, which I don't get the mint in there at all, um, which is nice because sometimes mint can be over, empower over empowering. Sweet wild orange oil, ylang ylang oil, fresh apple juice, fresh grapefruit, fresh kiwi juice, fresh lime juice, titanium dioxide, carrageenan extract, gardenia extract, water. Um, it smells absolutely amazing and I need to know what's behind this label. I need to know what's behind this label. Weeks later. Okay, it says, sorry, I got lipstick on the bottle trying to like bite it off. It says, a sparkle jolly twinkle jingly. Now, is that a reference to Elf, maybe? I don't know. Like the film Elf? I've not seen that, but yeah. I really like this and I would like to see this in a different format, whether it be a bath bomb or maybe a slime of some sort. Actually, does it smell a little bit like gun shower slime? A little bit, a little bit. No, no, it doesn't. But yes, I would love to see it in the format. And oh, oh yes, prices. Durr. So this comes in three sizes. You've got seven pounds for a small, 14 for a medium, and then 23 for a large. But the one that I know most people are gonna be really excited about, and when I saw this, I was like, oh my God. It's Hot Toddy. Hot Toddy is back. Hot Toddy is back. Hot Toddy is back. And I'm so excited. It says, it's getting hot in here. So take off all your clothes. This spicy tonic is sure to turn up the heat and raise some spirits. So this again, whoops, has that kind of traditional thicker shower gel. Not as thick as, say, the Lord of Misrule from years and years ago. But that lovely kind of gloopy sort of texture. I'm going to pour some into the cap so you guys can see. Whoa, what happened there? It's definitely thicker than the Elf Shake. I'm going to put that back in there and we'll pretend that I didn't do that. And can you see it poking at the top, the little bubble? Can you see the bubble? Yeah, look at that. Whoa! Oh, it's all right. It smells fantastic. It smells like spicy cola cubes. It does have some gold luster at the bottom. Fear not, you do not end up like a disco ball. I know people aren't always into glitter in their shower gels. So the ingredients, fresh ginger root infusion, fair tree organic aloe vera gel, glycerin, uh, fresh lemon juice, fine sea salt, cinnamon leaf oil, clove leaf oil, lime oil, Brazilian orange oil, dark sumatran patchouli oil, benzoin resinoid, carrageenan extract, titanium dioxide, and water. A really spicy winter warmer. I tell you, I was going to pick up a big one, but I thought I've got a lot of shower gels. I really want to work through it. So if I work through some of my big, some of my shower gels this year before Christmas finishes, I might pick up a large hot toddy um, because I really love the hot toddy smell. Then we've got the Snow Fairy Body Conditioner. This comes in three sizes. Oh my goodness. I've done it again. Hot toddy. So the prices for hot toddy is eight pounds for a small, 16 pounds for a medium, and 26 pounds for a large bottle. Next, we've got the Snow Fairy body conditioner, and this comes in three sizes. So the body conditioners, oh, there we go, that's what it looks like, are lovely. You can use this in the bath or the shower, and this is like an in-shower body lotion. So what you do is you have a wash with your Snow Fairy shower gel. Uh, or another product that I've got down here, or your delight. And then you smooth this onto damp skin, you leave it soak in for a couple minutes, and then you rinse it off. So I use some of this today, because um, I've got a little small pot left over. And what I like about this is, I love body lotions, and I'm really starting to get into using my body lotions, because my skin's been feeling really dry since I came back from Croatia. Um, but I don't like the, trying to like get your clothes on after you put your body lotion on. Um, so I like the fact that you can do this in the bath or the shower and then it's all done. The body conditioners, I feel, I mean, I haven't checked because there's another new Snow Fairy product. Um, the body conditioners typically are more moisturizing than a body lotion. But there is also a Snow Fairy body lotion this year, which I'm going to talk about in a second. But the ingredients for your Snow Fairy body conditioner is cherry infusion, glycerin, almond oil, organic jojoba oil, avocado butter, mango butter, fair trade organic cocoa butter, um, and Persian lime oil. 
it's very rich, very thick. Um, a little goes a long way. I definitely over scoop. It is fantastic after you've shaved your legs because you're locking that moisture straight in. It is beautiful. So the size of this, £10 for a small, 18 for a medium, or 30 for the big, large pots. Then one I didn't pick up, just because I've got a lot of shower jellies at the moment, but it's going to be a really popular one, is Bouncing Santa Shower Jelly. It smells like watermelon. It is so fruity and delicious, and if you love watermelon smells, it's the it's absolutely delicious. It's bang on watermelon. A little bit like kind of a metallic red colour. It's wibbly and wobbly, in the shape of Santa. It just smells really good. Only one size, six pounds. Um, just absolutely lovely. And again, all the shower jellies, they are vegan because they use the carrageenan in there to um, make that jelly kind of feel. But it's, it's got a fantastic wobble. So if you like the tarantula and how it wobbled at Halloween, you're gonna love, I don't know why I'm doing this, you're gonna love, <laughs> This is Santa dancing. You're gonna love uh, the Santa dancing around when you use them. And obviously, again, you can put your you can put your shower jellies in the freezer, so you can have that hot and cold therapeutic wash when you're using it. But kids are gonna love this. And again, fantastic stock and fillers. Next up is Fairy Dust. But this year, there's two sizes. You've got the standard, um, kind of 70 gram bottle, and then you've also got a 100 gram bottle. So. I've had this since 2021 and I've used it loads. Alex uses it as well. Um, and it's hardly gone down. I don't know, well, it's about here. So if you like it, 100 gram bottle's gonna last you ages. But all you do is, it is you use it a little bit like talcum powder. You sprinkle some onto your hand, or your body, should I even say, and just rub it in. It's gonna mattify the area. It's gonna add a little bit of sparkle. You're gonna smell like Snow Fairy. Um, it's great for helping with things like chub rub, it's great for after the bath, but obviously it's great before a night out because you're getting a little bit of sparkle onto the skin. A small bottle is eight pounds and then the large bottle is 16. So like I say, it lasts a very, very long time. I've been like, I really went through my silky underwear, so I've been using this until I got another bottle of silky underwear and I, I love it. Then we have the Snow Fairy Body Lotion. So this is new, I'm gonna show you what it looks like on the top. Ooh, it's got the luster on. The, the body conditioner has the luster too. That's it there. So you can really see it. And it looks thick, just like the body conditioner. I'll, I'll, I'll test it in a bit, but we can compare the ingredients. First of all, smells like Snow Fairy, so it smells really good. And it says, smother yourself in candy floss and embrace all the amazing things about you. So you might be thinking, why have they brought out a body conditioner and a body lotion? I will say, I wish this had been in a bottle, but looking how thick it is, it might have been hard to squeeze out. Maybe they should have had one in a clear pot and one in a black pot. I, I don't know. <laughs> it's a little bit kind of confusing when they both look the same. Um, but this might be quite nice if you don't want to do it in the shower. But if you kind of a little bit concerned about slipping, um, because obviously you're rinsing off kind of butters into the bath, this might be quite nice to do after. Also with it being a body lotion, it is a little bit lighter than the body conditioner. So the ingredients are oat milk, almond oil, marshmallow root mulsillage. Um, you've got organic jojoba oil, glycerin, fair trade organic cocoa butter. You've got organic leafy butter, Persian lime oil, water, titanium dioxide, synthetic musk. So let's have a little feel on the back of the hands at the difference. I'm gonna take some off the lid. It already, I can tell that it feels a lot thinner. Yeah, it smells just like Snow Fairy. It feels very, very moisturizing. And then, if you turn this round, I've got the body conditioner. There we go. Here, and I'm gonna pop some of this on that other side. I know you don't, you're supposed to put it on wet skin. Well, that feels completely different. Also smells like delicious Snow Fairy. Um, but this definitely feels a bit heavier. So just, a, it just it's just personal preference, isn't it, really, what you what you prefer. So the Snow Fairy Body Lotion is £10 for a small, £18 for a medium, and £30 for a large. Then we've got two new lip products. Um, not lip scrubs, but lip products. We have got the Cinnamon Stick Lip Oil. I'm gonna, ugh, my hands are all moisturised now. And this is five pounds. I'm just gonna open this up. I've butchered that. And that's it here. What I will say is about 
Lush lip balms is that they don't retract very well. So just make sure that you just keep it to what you need it to. Um, but this is it here, and I'm just gonna pop it. I've got lipstick on, obviously. So I'm gonna pop a little bit on the back of my hand. It doesn't really tint the lip. Um, and obviously it's got the cinnamon in there, so it's a little bit plumping and tingly on the lips. It smells really yummy, and I'm gonna read the ingredients to you. So you have got, oops, put the sticker over the top, I can't see the ingredients. Okay, so you've got organic castor oil, organic jojoba oil, you've got sunflower wax, you've got candelilla wax, organic linseed oil, um, you've got cinnamon leaf oil, Brazilian orange oil, patchouli oil, you've got a little bit of stevia for sweetness. Um, it's just lovely. It's just a lovely lip oil. I love the carrot lip oil from Easter, which I broke. It was great. I get cold sores really easily and it was super moisturising and healing on my cold sore. I don't know if I'd put a cinnamon one on my cold sore. It might be a little bit too tingly. Um, I have used this, um, not this particular one, but I have tried uh, the cinnamon stick and it has a light tingle, nothing too much. It's really nice and nice and plumping on the lips. But I think the one that people are going to go wild for is the Snow Fairy Lip Jelly. This is it here. Oh my god, that's literal perfection. So this is a super moisturising, almost like a lip gloss. So I'm going to take some out. A little, I've only got little lips, so a little goes a long way. And I'm going to pop some on the back of my hand so you can see there. This smell, oh my god, it smells. So, sorry, I think a tooth dish, my tooth just twanged. This smells so vanilla snow fairy it's just delicious and it, it tastes nice too so if you like a hydrating gloss for your lips this is lovely so you've got in here organic castor oil glycerin berry wax persian lime oil cold pressed raspberry seed oil raspberry juice and stevia your um your berry wax is going to help lock in that moisture organic castor i don't know why i say that way organic castor oil and rapeseed and raspberry seed oil lovely and moisturizing on the lips and uh, it doesn't feel sticky obviously less is more but it feels fab i really like both these we've got a lovely slip on the lips as well i really really love them so this is five pounds and your snow fairy lip jelly is eight pounds We've got two lip scrubs, brand new ones. The first one I'm gonna show you is the salted caramel one. This did come out as an exclusive in the kitchen subscription box, but here it is. I'm going to, obviously, it wouldn't be Christmas without me eating some lip scrub. Mmm, it tastes like sticky dates. Oh my God, it tastes so good. I'm gonna have to have one more bit, one more bit. Mmm, <laughs> mm. mm, God. It literally is like salt of caramel. You get the sweetness and then you get like a little bit of saltiness in there. Really, really delicious. So um, with the Christmassy kind of winter lip scrubs, they're a little bit more moisturizing. So what you would normally do is you take a bit out and you wouldn't just eat it straight away. You would rub it over your lips and then you would then lick it off and it exfoliates lips, it moisturizes lips. So the ingredients, you've got castor sugar, organic jojoba oil, fair trade shea butter, golden castor sugar, extra fine sea salt, sandalwood oil, carob resinoid, you've got benzoin resinoid, argan oil, gardenia extract, and cocoa powder, uh, paprika oral oral sun, I always say different every time, titanium dioxide. It just tastes delicious. The other one we have is, I'm gonna put a little picture here, is coconut ice. It's pink and white and it tastes just like coconuts. The only reason why I didn't get it was because I've got a whole load of lip scrubs here that I haven't finished eating. I mean using and it would be silly for me to get another one when I haven't finished all the other ones up but if you love coconut it's great and it's not like furs if you've ever smelt furs in the shop or salted coconut hand soap it is like like literally like cork like shaved coconut it's beautiful both are six pounds fifty I think the coconut ice is going to be the most popular one out of the two if if I'm going to make that prediction I think it is it's because it's pink and white because it's pink and white. We have lots of soap. I only have one um, to hand and it's a piece from last year that looks a little bit sad for it, sorry for itself, but it is the Snow Fairy Soap. 
It smells amazing. So when you get this fresh, it is beautiful and white with these pink, with the pink star in, and then these little shapes um, in it there, and it says Snow Fairy around the side. This one's been wrapped up. I've opened it up for you guys. Very gentle, very milky and creamy, and that is um, five fifty for a slice. We have the Golden Wonder soap. So if you like the Golden Pudding Bath Bomb, you're going to enjoy the Golden Wonder soap. But it is in a little present. It's an individual piece, and it is in a little present shape. So it's nice again to gift to someone if they do not have a bath, and it's a lovely smell. I don't think I described the smell of Golden Wonder with the Golden Pudding, and it is a uh, it's like, it is like a boozy cocktail in the bath. It's like really punchy, fresh, a um, little bit of boozy cognac oil in there, you know, that type of a smell, but just like a party in a in a bar of soap or a bath bomb. For those with sensitive skin, the Snow Bear soap is back. So this smells like snow cake, so marzipan scented, and it is full of lovely ingredients like rose uh, water infusion. You've got oat milk, really, really creamy and gentle, fantastic for sensitive dry winter chapped skin. I think I said a lot about how sensitive skin is before. $5.50 for that individual little bear. Then it wouldn't be Christmas at Lush without your baked Alaska soap. So this is multicolored orbs within a greenish kind of bluish colored um, base with a bit of snow on top. This is sold by the slice. It's very fresh and citrusy. So if you like um, like the Avil bath scent, the golden partridge bath bomb, if you, sorry, the partridge and the pear tree bath bomb, if you like ghosty, if you like those kind of citrusy smells, you're going to really like the baked Alaska, and that is $5.50 per slice. So next up is two new soaps and a returning one. So the first one is Crispus Cranberry, and it's this beautiful deep red with these um, kind of um, embeds inside of it. You can see like the, pu the pumpkin seeds, the cranberry seeds running through it. They are sold individually by slices, so it's six pounds per slice. And this, if you like the smell of cranberries, kind of spiced cranberries, it smells just like that. It's kind of got like a, an orange and cranberry sort of a smell. It's really lovely, um, and I really enjoy that. Then the returning one, before I go on and tell you the last new one, which is my favorite soap this Christmas, the returning one is Golden Pear, which I'm really, really excited about. Um, you heard me say before that I put the, I got a couple and I put them in my decorative bowl for to smell the room um, and make it look like a really pretty decoration. These are a lovely moisturizing soap. Golden pear is beautiful. It is spiced poached pear smell. So cardamom, pear, really, really Moorish and kind of fruity and just, oh, Christmas personified, it's like a decadent pudding, but in a soap, and it's beautiful, especially when you get a fresh one, it looks stunning. Sorry, it is nine pounds. My most favorite one is Christmas Party. I wanted a piece of this, but I couldn't get to it to grab a piece. Um, this smells like Miranda, so really, really fruity. Is Miranda the same smell as Angel's Delight? Possibly, I'm not too sure, someone correct me, but it's so, so punchy. It's purple with these multicolored um, streamers in it and it's got a little bit of a story behind it. It's inspired by the King of the Bean. So I've got a little bit here to read up for you um, to tell you a little bit more about the King of the Bean. So it says, a long succession of mock kings have ruled over winter holiday merrymaking in Europe. In ancient times they pre presided over feasts held in honour of the Roman festival of Sat Sat Turnalia. I'm going to say that wrong, sorry. In Middle Ages, the boy bishop and the Lord of Misrule directed certain Christmas festivities. Twelfth night celebrations, however, came under the special supervision of another mock ruler, the King of the Bean. In past centuries, the English, French, Spanish, German and Dutch celebrated Twelfth Night or Epiphany Eve with a feast. The Twelfth Night cake not only provided dessert, but also helped facilitate an old custom. While preparing the cake, the cook dropped a bean, coin or another small object into the into the batter. The man who found this object in his slice of cake was declared King of the Bean. If a woman received the bean, she became queen and appointed a man as a king. The king presided over the rest of the evening's activities. In some areas, the king chose his own queen. In others, a pea was also added to the cake batter and the woman who found the pea in her cake, in her serving of cake, enacted the role of the queen. Everyone else became a member of the royal court. At some parties, the courtiers carried out their role by announcing the mock ruler's every action. Cries of, the king drinks, the king coughs, 
cued others to follow suit. The mock rulers also gave silly commands that the court was expected to carry out. The French saying, I'm so sorry, il a trouvé la fève au gâteau, <laughs> which means he found the bean in the cake, comes from this 12th night custom and means he's had some good luck. So that's kind of what that means. And I just love the smell and the look of this soap. Um, it is per piece, so per 100 gram piece, it is £5.50. And it is just the best smelling thing. The best smelling thing. Now, we're on to the final stretch, fragrance. We've got body fragrance and home fragrance. It would not be Christmas without some Snow Fairy body spray. So let's crack a new one open because I've almost finished the one I've already got out. Mm -mm -mm. Yes. 200 ml bottle of Candy Floss Heaven. Just, oh yes, I live for it. This year it is 25 pounds. But don't forget, bring your empty containers in, you're gonna get money off. It smells so good, so moorish, give me more of the Snow Fairy body spray. There is a new body spray this year, this is Fun Times. So this, I don't have the price to hand, I do apologise, is I've just eaten loads of Snow Fairy body spray. This is as if Zesty and Celebrate have had a baby. It is a super citrusy punch. It says, enjoy fun times with your friends and family this Christmas. Packed full of bright citrus oils to give you that spritz of vitamin C when you need it the most. And I tell you right now at Christmas time, I'm gonna need that vitamin C. So you've got water, Brazilian orange oil, Sicilian red mandarin oil and glycerin. So let's try and waft away this Snow Fairy smell and Get a little bit of that. Mm. Definitely got like that zesty sort of top note, celebrate under note, but then it's got a little bit of something, something. It's almost got, I think it's the red mandarin, it gives it a little bit of a something underneath. It smells amazing, really fresh. So if you like zesty avocado, avocado, da, da, da. if you like zesty avocado cold wash, celebrate. You're gonna really enjoy fun times. I'm not enjoying the taste in my mouth though from eating that. No. No. <laughs> I've just eaten I've just eaten it. Mm, ah. Better. One that I'm really excited about uh, that has come back but in a perfume form because last year we had fresh airs is turmeric perfume. Turmeric latte perfume, should I even say it? I know this, I don't know why I'm being weird. So turmeric latte perfume. This is hands down one of my favourite smells from Lush. I actually traded my bottle of body spray of turmeric latte for Yoga Bomb with my friend Eileen. Um, but I'm so glad that I can get this. This comes in a 30ml and a 100ml. Um, I'm going to spritz a little bit on my wrist. Um, and this is warming, it's musky, it's just sexy. If you like Tom Ford Vanille Tobacco, or Tobacco Vanille, I can never remember which way around, you're gonna really love this and your wallet's gonna really love it as well. 30 mil for a small, 60 pounds for 100 mil. Tom Ford, 300 and odd pounds I think. You're gonna really, really, really love this if you like the Tom Ford Vanille Tobacco or Tobacco Vanille and it lasts for ages on the skin, it lingers, and it's not so strong that it overpowers things. Sometimes you, you, you get a strong kind of musky smell and you can smell it and it's too much. This, a bit like Big, you get beautiful wafts of it throughout the day. Little, hello, I'm here. Mm. It's absolutely divine and I know a lot of people are really gonna be excited about this because they miss the body spray. Please bring the body spray back after Christmas. Please, 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 please. It smells so good. And then last but not least, we have the Snow Fairy Candles. That's right, I said candles plural. We have the one wick and we have the four wick. You might have seen the four wick on my social media. I'm gonna take a chance to plug it. It's Sarah Jameson MUA. Go check out, I post lush sneak peeks, videos and beauty related stuff on my Instagram. The candle for the small one is £12. I'm not too sure how much the big one is. Um, 
but it's huge it is massive and it smells so good the small one gives you around about a 12 to 15 burn um, hour burn time the small ones because i've had this i've had the sleepy and i've had the snow fairy they're better designed for small rooms like an office or a bathroom when, whereas your um your bigger four wick ones could be great for your dining room your living room your kitchen where it's going to really be able to emit it's a beautiful smell. The candles are 100% natural. Um, they are soy free, GMO free, paraben free. They are 100% natural in their ingredients. Um, and they're just they're just absolutely beautiful in that gorgeous frosted glass. And I know a lot of people are really excited about them. So if you don't have a wax burner, but you still want that beautiful smell, then get yourself a candle. Um, I've got too many candles downstairs and I'm on a candle ban. So I have to use through my candles first. But that is everything. Woo! It has been a long video. Let me know what you think of the collection. I think this year's range is absolutely gorgeous. I really love them. I'm obsessed with a lot of the bath stuff. I'm very excited about the shower gels this year. The shower gels are cracking. I can't wait to use them. Um, Elf Shake. Ooh, are you ebbing out, hot toddy? Maybe a little bit. I'm not too sure. It depends on my mood, I think. Um, but let me know what you're going to get, what you love, what you're interested about. You know, just leave it all down in the comments. If you like this video, give it a little thumbs up. And if you really liked it, you can subscribe to the channel. We're on our way to 3,000 subscribers. I'm going to do a giveaway at 3,000. So keep your eyes peeled. Um, thank you so much for watching. I'm going to post the two gift videos in the next couple of days. So keep an eye out for that. And I've got some few other videos in between. And I'm going to see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you bump isn't too numb and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!